Hello and welcome to the Fry Smiles Oral Health Network. I am your host, Scott Fry, and this week we're going to be talking a little bit about citric acid and erosion of your teeth. Now, if you've seen any toothpaste ads recently, uh, you're probably aware that acid erosion is becoming a big problem for oral health. Um, and one of the main culprits of acid erosion is citric acid, which other than being found in citrus fruits, of course, is a very common food additive, and it's even found in some mouthwashes out there. Now, citric acid is harsh on your teeth for two big reasons. For one, it's acidic, which means that it's going to dissolve tooth enamel, and in addition to being acidic, it has a very strong affinity for calcium and it will bind and remove calcium directly out of your teeth and it will also bind to calcium that's found in your saliva and by binding the calcium that's in the saliva surrounding your teeth this means that your teeth are going to dissolve even more easily in acids now while this is all a little concerning obviously if most of the day you're taking very good care of your teeth and you're being friendly to your teeth you know, the occasional citrus fruit isn't going to do irreparable harm. But if you are going to be having citric acids in your diet um, you're, and you want to limit the impact of those acids, I recommend doing one or all of the following things. Try to limit the amount of citric fruits uh, and citrus fruits that you have during the course of the day to it, at the most one citrus fruit. Eat uh, these citrus fruits with yogurt because the high calcium content in the yogurt is going to protect your teeth. And try to, if you're going to have some OJ or uh, other citrusy beverages, uh, try to go ahead and have one of those that's fortified with calcium for the same reasons as, uh, as the yogurt. And also, last but not least, Try and do your best to avoid mouthwashes that contain citric acid as a preservative unless there is a significant amount of added calcium that isn't in the form of calcium citrate. Um, if you're looking for some great recommendations of mouthwashes, um, I, why don't you, you should probably go back and take a look at one of our older posts. Uh, we, have, we have a great one where we went over some acidic mouthwashes uh, and there's some great mouthwashes in there like TheraBreath, um, as well as our rebalancing rinse that we talked about with the baking soda that you can make at home. So that's our show for today. Tune in next Tuesday for some more uncommon solutions to sustainable smiles.